How lovely is your dwelling place, Yahweh Sebaut. My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of Yahweh. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. When can I enter and behold the face of God? For better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Even the sparrow has found a home and the swallow a nest for herself where she may have her young. A place near your altar, Yahweh Sebaut, my King and my God. Blessed, happy, guided, relieved and always advancing straight ahead is the one whose sin you will never count against him, whose strength is in you and whose heart is set on the highway for our homeland is in heaven and we eagerly await a savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who with the power that enables him to bring everything under his control will transform our lowly bodies to be like his glorious body. Emmanuel has made me well. Emmanuel has made me well. Emmanuel has made me well. For with you is a fountain of life, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. For my eyes shall see the King in his beauty, and view a land that stretches afar. Surely, today, you will be with me in paradise. And then we will be with the Lord forever. For if we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or we die, we belong to the Lord. And the Lord will wipe away every tear from our eyes. And there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For God's tabernacle is now among the people, and he will tabernacle with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them, be Emmanuel, and be their God. And it shall come to pass that from new moon to new moon, and from Sabbath to Sabbath, all living souls shall come and bow down in worship, before my face declares Yahweh. For with you is the fountain of life. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. I saw the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I will never be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices, and my body also rests in hope and trusting expectation. For you will not abandon my psyche, my soul, my breath of life to the grave or unseen Hades. You will not let your Holy One see decay. You have let me know and experience the ways of life. You will completely fill me with euphoria before your face. For you, with you is the fountain of life, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. For with you is the fountain of life. At your right hand, our pleasures forevermore. For this is what the Lord has commanded us. Go, I will send you far away to the Gentiles, 
to say to the captives, Come out, and to those in darkness, Come forth and show yourselves. I have made you a light for the Gentiles, so that my salvation, deliverance, freedom, Yeshua, may reach to the ends, borders and extremities of the earth. Turn to him and be saved, all you ends of the earth. Seek him and live, for in him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome or arrested it. The people sitting in darkness have seen a great light. Over those sitting in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. Darkness covers the earth and thick darkness is over the peoples, but the Lord rises upon you, and his glory is seen upon you. From over you shoots forth beams of light, like the sun shining through in the morning. And everyone who calls on the name of Yahweh shall be saved. For there is salvation in no other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Zozod. And there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, those who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For as many as actively received him, He gave them authority to become children of God to those who believe in his name. Children born not of natural descent, nor of the will of the flesh or will of a husband, but born of God. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. For this righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. For God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement, through the shedding of his blood to be received by faith. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We who are baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. And just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. Now, if we died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with Him. I am now light in the Lord. He is in me. And he has made me a light for the Gentiles. Hallelujah. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And a life I now live in this flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, the wonderful, counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, who loved me and gave himself for me. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and has made us to be a kingdom and prince.
priests to serve his God and Father. To him be all the glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. He is the head over all power and authority. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow in the heavens and on the earth and under the earth, and every tongue openly confess that Jesus Christ is Lord Yahweh to the glory, honor, and renown of God the Father. So on this basis, sent by Jesus in his name and his place here today, I declare Shalom, wholeness, completeness, health, wealth, ease and peace, nothing lacking, through Jesus, the Anointed One, who is Lord of all. Shalom in this place. Shalom to my loved ones. Shalom in my mind and my body. And I say to the captives, come out. To those in darkness, come forth and show yourselves. To the bound and oppressed, Be free to the dead, arise. To the sick, be well. To the weary, have life. To the lonely, be set in families. To the barren, be fruitful. To the lost, come home. And to all the hurt and afflicted, Shalom, be well, in Jesus' name, come out of darkness now and into his wonderful light. In the name of Jesus, the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, the name above every other name. Amen. Fear not. For I have redeemed you, I have called you by your name, Liata. You are mine. I have put my words in your mouth and covered you with the shadow of my hand. You are my servant in whom I will display my splendor. And you grew exceedingly beautiful and arose to royalty. Your renown spread among the nations on behalf of your beauty, which was perfect due to the splendor I had put upon you. And no one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I'll be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Ask of me, and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. The Lord listened to me that time also. I will make them come and fall down at your feet and acknowledge that I have loved you. Come, we are going far. So go, I'll send you far away to the Gentiles to say to the captives, come out. And to those in darkness, come forth and show yourselves. I have made you a light for the Gentiles so that my salvation, deliverance, freedom and Yeshua may reach to the ends, borders and extremities of the earth. You are a chosen offspring a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own possession. 
to declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness and into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Thus says Yahweh, if you turn back, I will turn you back, and you shall stand before my face. If you take out the precious from the vial, you shall be as my mouth. Shout and be glad, daughter Zion, for I am coming, and I will tabernacle among you, declares Yahweh. Many nations will be joined to Yahweh in that day, and will become my people. And wherever the river flows, everything shall live. Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water shall flow out from their bellies. The mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. So look to Abraham your father and to Sarah who gave you birth. When I called him, he was only one man, and I blessed him and made him many. Yahweh will surely comfort Zion. He will look with compassion on all her ruins. He will make her wilderness like Eden and her deserts like the garden of Yahweh. Joy and gladness will be found in her, thanksgiving and a sound of singing. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one believing in me shall live even if he dies. And all living and believing in me shall never ever die. For as in Adam all died, so in Christ all will be made alive. And the hour will come, and is now, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those having heard shall live. I am Yahweh, the maker of all things, who carries out the words of his servants and fulfills the predictions of his messengers. I will fulfill the desire of those who fear me. To the person who pleases him, God gives wisdom, knowledge and happiness. But to the sinner he gives the task of gathering and storing up wealth to hand it over to the one who pleases God. And I will be enriched in every way so that I can be generous on every occasion. And the God of peace will soon crush Satan under my feet. He has shown his people the power of his mighty works Give him then the lands of other nations. He gave me a priestly duty of proclaiming the gospel of God so that the Gentiles may become an offering acceptable to God, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. I persevered in demonstrating among you the marks of a true apostle, including signs, wonders, and miracles. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. O death, I will be your plagues. O grave, I will be your destruction. You are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. But the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength. 
so that through me the message may be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was delivered from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and will bring me safely into his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. So let us lay aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumphant procession in Christ and through us makes manifest the sweet-smelling aroma of the knowledge of Him everywhere. Let us reject every kind of evil and live a life worthy of the calling we have received. Let the necros bury their own necros, but you go and proclaim abroad the kingdom of God. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your nobility, reasonability, and gentleness be experienced by all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. Go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes with their hands. And when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people and they will get well. Go and announce to them that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick. Raise the dead. Cure those with leprosy. And cast out demons. Freely you have received. Freely give. Now it is God who makes both us and you stand firm in Christ. He anointed us, set his seal of ownership on us, and put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit guaranteeing what is to come. Therefore, we are always confident. So go and let nothing move you, for I am with you, and you, you are mine. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. We love you. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, Yahweh our God, King of the universe and of our heart.